Okay? Example three says, what a bunch of weirdos. Okay? No, I'm not talking about the grade 12 boys. <laughs> that's right. That's, that's public now. That's recorded in history. We'll have to check it out. <laughs> okay? Now, um, I'm going to show you two styles of equations that can be kind of strange. Okay? Uh, they're called, well, one of them is called a con constant function, and the other is called an, I guess, an undefined function. They're the equations for horizontal and vertical lines. These are lines that either go straight up and down or straight left to right. Okay, horizontal and vertical lines. Um, horizontal lines can be represented with this general equation, y equals a, where a is just some number. And the way these equations work, for example, I had, if I had like y equals 1, that would be a horizontal line going through the point 1 for y. So it would look just like this. Just like a snake. Okay? If I had the line y equals negative 2, that would be a horizontal line going through the points negative 2 on the y-axis. Okay? So those are equations for horizontal lines. And technically, they are in general form. The coefficient of x, can you guess what it is? 1. 0. Because there's no x term, right? If I had like a 0x plus this, that would be general form technically. But the coefficient of x is 0. So it is it is in general form, just weird, modified. Does that make sense? Okay. And the coefficient of y is 1. Um, vertical lines have a little bit of a different form. Okay? Vertical lines look like this. They have the form x equals some other number, b in this case, where b is just another real number. Okay? So if I had something like x equals negative 5, that would be a vertical line going through the point negative 5 on the x-axis. Okay? Or if I had x equals negative 1, that would be a vertical line at negative 1. And the reason why it's vertical is because this equation is essentially saying x is always negative 5, regardless of what y is. x is always negative 5. Okay, that's why every point on this line has an x-coordinate of negative 5. If you were to draw a table of values for x equals negative 5, it would look like this. You would have negative 5, negative 5, negative 5, negative 5. The only thing x can be is negative 5. And then y is just whatever. 0, 1, 2, 3. Okay? So, let's look at a specific relation, linear relation. In this case, um, let me just do this here. We're going to look at the linear relation x plus 4.5 equals 0. We're going to graph it. We're going to identify any intercepts that it has, and we're going to find domain and range. Domain and range? That was last chapter. Yes. <laughs> it never leaves you. I think we're going to die. <laughs> I believe in you. Um, to make this a little clearer, I'm going to bring 4.5 over to the other side. So it looks like that general form I just showed you for vertical lines. X equals negative 4.5. Let's see if you got this. How would I draw that line? Good. So I draw a vertical line going through the points negative 4.5 for x. That would be right here. Okay, right on this point right there. That's negative 4.5. And I draw a vertical line going straight through that. With me? Intercepts. So this was part A. Can you tell me any intercepts? What's the x-intercept? Where does it cross the x-axis? Negative 4.5, right? So the x-intercept is negative 4.5, 0. Y-intercept? Infinity. <laughs> Infinity. Nothing. Doesn't have a y intercept. Why? Because it doesn't cross the y and 
Is it ever getting closer to the y-axis as I go up or down? No, right? It just stays parallel and never crosses. Okay, so it does not have a y-intercept. So sad. No y-intercept. So yeah. Domain and range. Okay? We'll do this with... Uh, hmm. We'll do this with set notation. Uh, so you can see how it's done. Range. Can you tell me, well, first of all, for the domain, I should list it, label that as the domain. Is it possible to list all of the possible values that x can be? No. Yes. Yes. It's just negative 4.5, right? So the set is just one element, negative 4.5. That's it. Don't you have to do the Whew. x and then the line? You only have to do that if there's more than you can list. But I'm glad you're thinking of is that. Is it a real number? No. Yes. Well, negative 4.5 is a real number. Right? So we don't have to say that. Range, however, there are infinite numbers of numbers. So this we have to use the variable. right? So y represents our variable or all the values in the range. Any restrictions on y? No. No. Nope. Goes forever up and forever down with no breaks, so it is a real number. And it includes everything.